The walk is simply a way for me to say to the poor, I love you. I love you on your terms. The people that, that God puts in our path, both the poor and those who want to work with the poor, there's a way of channeling those resources to help each other. So CFCA comes along and we try to bring those two groups together. Sponsorship says we are equal in the eyes of God and we need each other, we are interdependent. walk is also a way for me to say to everyone involved at CFCA, CFCA must think like the poor, must walk with the poor, must be willing to give up power, must be willing to stop worrying about the future, must be willing to trust God, must be willing to make sacrifices for the poor, must take the sometimes difficult decisions to be personally consistent with each, uh, with our own self. I hope uh, that this trip can communicate to the poor my need for them. The burdens they are carrying faithfully, the example they are giving of hope, their, uh, their life of prayer, their life lived close to nature and close to the creator of all nature. <laughs> If there's anybody on earth that understands pilgrimage, it's these people. Because pilgrimage implies uh, hope, it implies sacrifice, it implies a lot of faith, it implies a vision that you try for and you, you try to do it together. Well, I felt like a, sometimes like a roving creature. And, and basically what I keep telling them is that God loves them, that they're good, uh, that they're worthy, that they have a lot to offer to our world, that please don't be discouraged, that we, we need their spirituality, their leadership, and that we are receiving their gift of creation spirituality, their closeness to the earth, uh, their hard work. The hands that I have shaken have all been callous men and women and children. These people work hard.